Kura tātou katoa na mihi nui ki Thank you for inviting me to speak today at the 5th International Trade Union Confederation World Congress. It's a privilege to be joining you, albeit virtually and albeit briefly. Unions play such a vital role in improving workers' wages, employment conditions and in promoting social change. And I'd like to acknowledge the International Trade Union for all your work in this area. The way we think about work and the goals of the New Zealand Labour government are rooted in the values of our party. We believe everyone should have the opportunity to experience the dignity of decent work. And this is something we have continued to prioritise alongside the well-being of our people, which has become one of the cornerstone reasons why we establish, for instance, the practice of well-being budgets here in New Zealand. Government has a crucial role to play in ensuring that work is safe and that it enables people to support themselves and their families. For my government, that has meant improved access to paid leave entitlements, introducing paid family violence leave and paid bereavement leave for miscarriages and increases to minimum sick leave entitlements. Last month, we passed into law a fair pay agreements system that enables unions and employer representatives to bargain collectively for occupation-wide minimum employment terms. This type of system won't be new to you. We anticipate will help to address low pay across industries and pave a way towards sufficient improvements to working terms and conditions for workers who have experienced a persistent lack of bargaining power in New Zealand. There are, of course, many challenges that we face. As we transition towards a high wage, low emissions economy, we must ensure that this is a just and equitable transition, that it doesn't leave behind vulnerable population groups, Māori, Pacific peoples, Indigenous, young people and people with disabilities, that everyone has equal opportunities to participate in a strong economy. This is one of the reasons why we also continue to do what we can to promote a levelling up of workers' rights beyond our own borders, including in the free trade agreements we negotiate. A good example is our recent initiative to embed CEDAW into our FTA agreement with the European Union. Partnership between government and unions is crucial to all of this work. And I'd like to thank the ITUC and everyone here today for your tireless advocacy for workers. We are grateful for what you do. I wish you all the very best for the rest of the Congress. Nā mihi nui ki koutou katoa. Thank you once again.